we're up in Cairns and um, we decided after Commonwealth, instead of coming all the way to Australia, we might as well make the most of it. Um, so I have four days off and we are yeah, trying to cram in as much sightseeing as we can. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we are in a little cable car. I don't know if you can see this one behind me. Ah, there he goes. Um, so yeah, we're up in Cairns for just two days. We're doing one day in the rainforest, one day in at the Great Barrier Reef. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I've never been to Australia obviously before, first time. Um, and yeah, it's just quite nice to obviously do something a little bit different rather than just spend all my time on the Gold Coast. So yeah, I'm excited for today, as you can tell. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to having the next four days easy after what's been, yeah, a pretty tiring champs. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Butterfly whisperer. Barely see him. He's oh, the camouflaged.
So today we are heading out to the Great Barrier Reef. Um, as you can tell, I'm so excited. Um, it's one of my bucket list sort of items. And um, yeah, we can come all the way to Australia and be this close to the, the Great Barrier Reef and not go visit. So we are on a boat tour with Paradise. Paradise of the Seas. Paradise of the Seas. Um, yeah, so we're heading out. It takes two hours to get to the part of the Barrier Reef that we're heading to today. We travelled out from Cairns. Um, so yeah, so we're on this boat for two hours and then we are actually going to dive today. I've never been diving either, so this is a day of first. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. I'm excited at the moment, but I know that as soon as I get to the sea, I'm going to be freaking out. And if I see anything that's remotely dangerous, which is probably all, everything in there, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be a little bit more scared than I am just now. But yeah, at the moment, I'm currently excited and I can't wait to get started. <laughs> he did it. He actually got on the ocean and survived. So we just finished two snorkel sessions. Um, the first one was not far from here actually. They were quite close together. Um, but yeah, there's actually there's not a huge group of us actually. There's only maybe about 20 of us on this boat. Um, half are sort of scuba diving, the other half are snorkeling. So it's actually been a really, um, really good morning. The first half we spent scuba diving it was certainly an experience. I was pretty scared. It took me about 20 minutes to work out how to just breathe underwater, to be honest. Um, I think I was definitely overcomplicating it, thinking about it a bit too much, but finally got my nerves underwear. Um, yeah, I didn't last too long in there, if I'm totally honest. Michael was a, bit, a lot more confident than me, and he was right under. Um, I feel like roles reversed, considering I was the one who was so cocky and confident this morning about it. Um, but yeah, snorkeling was much, much easier. Coral is beautiful. There's so much of it. Um, well, obviously, I've seen it on the TV and stuff, so it was quite cool in real life to be swimming through it. No sharks. I'm actually a bit gutted in the end, actually. I feel like it, a shark would have probably made this experience a bit more. Um, but yeah, we saw fish, all different fish, I've, stuff I've never seen, um, colours I've never seen. So yeah, it was pretty cool um, to be out there this morning. But we are now just relaxing on the boat. Um, before heading home, so we have like about a 90 minute um, boat journey home before we get back in. I'm enjoying it, you can see. You saved me today. <laughs> I didn't drown. <laughs> and he's Scottish as well, so I feel like this is just a magnet. Scots attract other Scots. That's it. But yeah, so thank you very much <laughs> no today to Passions of Paradise, Passions of Paradise. Uh, for having me. It's been a great day out. So yeah, thank you. Cool. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. is a tree kangaroo. How can a kangaroo live in the trees? So tomorrow we are climbing this bridge. Um, 
I'm pretty excited about it, to be fair, but at the same time, I'm actually really scared of heights. So I've not really thought it through because, as you can see, that's quite high. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sure once I get there, I won't pop out. Um, yeah, I feel like I've done two things on this trip that would absolutely petrify me. One, height, climbing this, and the second one, scuba diving. So scuba diving's done. This is my, my second challenge of Australia. Bondi today. Um, we only have half a day here but we thought it would be nice to come down and visit out, check out the beach, but it's absolutely freezing. Um, I feel like we've taken the rain with us as well but um, we've still got a nice view to be fair over the iceberg pools and on the beach. Um, it is so beautiful but yeah we would like a bit, bit more of sunshine to be fair. We just tried to have ice cream and it's so cold. I feel like I'm back in Scotland. Um, but yeah. It's still beautiful. Train, so we had to go literally across, well, Plymouth ran across the Harbour Bridge to get to the bridge climb, but we made it just in time. Um, I'm a little bit scared, a little bit nervous, I, I actually don't like heights, but this is a once in a lifetime experience, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, really, really excited to get out there now in my little boiler suit. <laughs> the Wall of Fame. So we just finished at the Sydney Harbour Bridge climb. Um, it was, da -da -da. Um, it was genuinely one of the most amazing things I've ever done in my life. I'm so glad we were late um, getting here, but we made it just in time. And yeah, I'm so glad we did it. I honestly recommend it. it's like a bucket list trip. Um, honestly, it's, it's so so cool. I'm actually quite scared of heights, so to be honest, the first little bit I was a little bit sketchy, especially some of the smaller. Um, bits where especially when you go across the water um, and across some of the smaller parts got a hat here now um, that was yeah I'm not gonna lie I was practically crawling over those um, and you move quite quickly as well like we were walking quite fast through some of some of the sections um, and I was yeah I was one of the slow coaches at the back panicking um, but yeah honestly amazing yeah so another fear conquered and uh, definitely a 